Hello everyone and welcome to the 7th race weekend of my career. It's a qualifying session in Montreal in Canada. Okay, as we have a quick look around the menus here, we saw that I'm still thrashing my teammate. And it um, looks like I'm going for a just one off the fully dry setting. Now I'll go into the gearbox just to tweak it so I can get a bit more top speed in the straights. I tend to go down in the diagonal like that, so there's no big gaps between the gears. Okay, here we go then on the super soft tyres, go to track. Here we go, starting on the back straight then. Setting my fuel to rich mixture. Opening my DRS as soon as I gain control of the car. Hopefully I should reach the speed limit just before I hit the brakes on this particular lap, which I do indeed. Okay, so just trying to get a good run out of this chicane here. Pretty good run, pretty happy with that. Using all of my cars before the line to get maximum speed onto this next lap. Okay, I'll talk you through this lap then. So breaking halfway between the 100 meter and 50 meter boards, probably a little bit too late. There, in this next slow corner, down to first gear, about 55 miles an hour. Accelerating hard out, DRS open, a little bit of curves just to help me out the corner. Breaking halfway between the 100 meter and 50 meter boards again. Again, turned in a little bit too late, but that is where I do need to break. Open my DRS all the way around these next couple of corners, just got to be a little bit careful on the steering. Breaking just after the 100 meter board. Again, the line's important through that corner. Okay line, could have been better, not brilliant. Okay, a bit more curves then along this little straight here. And DRS wide open. Coming down to the next corner. Breaking this corner just before under the bridge. Or just as we get to the bridge, really. Again, a bit of a bad line through there. But not too bad. Opening DRS again. No more curves for this section. You're going to save it all for the back straight now. Okay, this next corner then. Breaking just before the 100 meter board. That's probably a little bit deep. So probably need to break a little bit earlier next time. Probably got away with it. Only lost a couple of tenths, I would say. Get DRS wide open, used all the rest of my curves for maximum speed down the straight. I should hit the speed limiter probably about three quarters of the way down the straight. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty much bang on. That's how I like it. So braking just after the 150 meter board. We'll try and take as much curve as possible without, oh, without running too wide into the barrier like that. Could have been worse, but definitely could have been better. Need to be a bit smoother through there next time. So I tend to, in this quali one session, I tend to go for two runs if I think it's needed. So that looks like well, that's what I'm going to do. It's a 15.3 first lap then. Obviously that's first because I'm the only one to set a lap so far. So let's see. I need to try and improve that really to make sure I get through. I don't really want to be doing two runs and using up more super soft tyres. Because I believe I can get out of this session on this track. Okay, so 10th up already then in the first sector. Much better line through these corners here. That's good. DRS open earlier. A little bit more curves. Got more curves saved for the end of the lap as well. So that's good. Okay, so again breaking just as you get to the bridge. Again, better line, took a bit more curve on the exit, but got away with it. 14.8 is the fast lap, that's about half a second than mine, see if I can get any of that. There we go, half a second up, that's what I needed. Three tenths up on Hulkenberg's pole lap, so at the moment, half a second, half a second up on my previous. I'm very happy with that. So again, using most of my cars, saving about 100k for the last, last little dash to the line. DRS wide open again, coming down the back straight, hitting the rev limiter. Breaking just after the 150 meter board. Again, trying to be a bit more smooth through this corner. Take a load of curb on the entry. That was a lot better, that one was. Carried a bit more speed. Took more curb, but carried more speed and straight lined it a bit more. So let's see then. Stay to the right hand side to get best line. 14.4, 8 tenths up. 3 tenths up on Hulkenberg. Happy with that. So just slowing down then to save the tyres a little bit. There we go. Now I'll press the start menu and go back to the garage. Okay, so hopefully that'll be enough to get me through. I will fast forward the time now. 30 times speed as we count down the minutes and hope that I can get through. Looks like I'm going to be able to because I'm still in P1 actually. So 14.4, next best is a 14.7 by Hamilton now. It's still three and a half tenths down on me though, so that's good. Let's have a little scroll through to see. So my teammate's on a 16.1, 1.6 down on me, so I've thrashed him again. Going back up then, still no one's beating me. It doesn't look like anyone's going to do a better lap at the moment. No green salt. There's a few green sectors down there. No, not better than me. Brilliant, there we go. End of Q1. P1. Happy days. So through to Q2 then. Let's hope I can continue this momentum and go through to Q3 and see what I can do for the pole shootout. As we get a nice preview of the um, track in Montreal here. Strap my helmet on there. Getting into the car, okay, so don't need to tweak anything more now, not that I can tweak the setup anymore anyway. So going out then, brand new set of the super softs again, fuel mixture to rich. Track looks a little wet there doesn't it, I don't believe it is, but it does look a little bit damp, it's a bit strange. So we see the new wobbly aerial there, just in front of me. <laughs> Fancy new wobbly aerials for F1 2012. Okay, so getting a good line again, that was pretty good. 
Should have stamped on the throttle a little bit earlier, but that wasn't too bad. I'm not going to lose too much time using all my curves again to get best launch for the next lap. Okay, breaking a little bit earlier on this lap. That's better, better line through there. Carrying a little bit more speed through all of those first couple of corners there. Happy with that. Again, DRS wide open. So breaking at the same time, but getting a better line that time using plenty of curb. That's what I like to see. So DRS wide open through these next two corners. Got a tippy toe with the steering to make sure I don't spin. Breaking earlier then again. If anything, get a worse line though. He's turning it a little bit earlier there actually. Next time. Let's see if I make that improvement on the next lap. 21.5 first sector then. Not sure how that compared to my first one. Um, but let's see when we get to the end of the lap. Okay, again, taking a lot of curb there, but you can get away with it on that, that particular chicane. DRS wide open again to this tight hairpin now. Breaking a little bit early this time. Oh, I still run wide, lock my wheels. That's not what I wanted to be doing. Let's see what how I get on anyway. Probably lost two, maybe three tenths in that corner. Not ideal, but I'll go probably go for a second lap, depending on what my time is. Let's have a look. Again, smacking the revolution with the DRS wide open. Let's see how this chicane goes then. Oh, that was a bit, bit of an oversteer on the exit there, but that was overall a bit better. Again, could have carried a bit more speed, but you don't want to be carrying too much speed as you fly into that wall of champions there. So a 14.7, I'm pretty happy with that then. That's more or less as good as my last lap. It was a 14.4, wasn't it, in quality one? So I'm still going to go for another lap, though, because I think I can better that. I just want to make sure I'm safely through it. I don't want to be going out on another set of tyres. These tyres are ready to go. I'm going to do another lap on these. Tenth up again in the first sector. Four tenths up on Perez, who's knocked me down to P2. So if Perez is beating me, I do want to be going better than Perez, really. He's got a 14-4 look. So I know I can just about get that time if I get a good lap in. So carrying probably similar levels of speed in there. Not too much faster, but it was already pretty good on the previous lap. Okay, so what's the sector time going to be then? Tenth up on my lap, but actually two tenths down. That's on Alonso now, though, so I'm not too worried about that because I... 39, I'm not expecting to beat that anyway. So no worries there. Okay, it's coming down this back straight again then. DRS wide open, up into 7th gear, up into the rev limiter. So my engineer tells me I need to come in, because you only, well, I've only got it set to allow me two laps on the fuel. Don't want to be carrying weight run unnecessarily. Pretty good last chicane there. Here's my last little bit of curves. DRS wide open, the shortest run to the line. Do a 14-1, that's not bad. Six tenths up my previous, only a tenth off, tenth and a half off Alonso. Happy with that. Again, doing a slow down couple of corners, and then I'll go into the start menu and I will return to garage. Okay, here we are then back in the garage. So, some more fast forwarding the time. Nine minutes left. So, second place then. Doesn't look like I'm going to be falling down the table too much for that time, but with a 14 7, I would have only been in seventh or eighth. But they're plenty slower than me, though, look. So, I think I probably still would have made it on my first lap, but it's worth doing the second lap just in case. Two minutes left then. One minute. And there we go, second place, only tenth and a half down on first. There's a nice big gap to third as well, so if I can get second on the shootout, I'll be a happy man. But that was a good lap though, don't even know if I can be able to replicate that, even if I get two shots at it. So selecting a brand new set of the option tyres there, the super soft. Red coloured tyres from Pirelli, going to the rich mixture again. So I know I'm not going to get as much time in this sector, if I want to do two runs, so two laps on the softer tyre in this section I'm going to have to pretty much have no break in the garage and I might even only have one lap in the second go so I want to get these first lap in make it a good one pretty good chicane there again make it a good lap so I've got a banker and then I can just go hell for level on the next one okay breaking a little bit earlier again being a little bit cautious just trying to get a something that's representable in oh plenty of wheel spin on, on the exit there don't think I lost too much time perhaps a tenth Unfortunately, it's not a big straight after it for me. Nicely cut in that corner there. Didn't really pick up too much grass on my tyres either. So I'll have full grip going into this corner. Again, breaking a little bit earlier again. That was a much better line. Using a little bit of curb on the exit as well. 21.5. First sector, not too bad. So DRS wide open again. Going to break just under this bridge. See if we get a better line through here this time. Ooh, didn't take enough curb on the entry, but I think I got away with it. Could have been faster, but it wasn't too bad. It's still a pretty good lap. In the 14s, I'll be happy with. If it's a 14, 14.5-ish, I'll be happy. Not good enough for part, won't be, but I'll be pretty happy as a banker lap with that one. So let's see them. Coming down this long back straight again, building up the speed into the rev limiter. OK, 
coming under that V power sign there, breaking the 150 meter board. So let's see then how much curb am I going to take? Quite a lot of curb. Oh, it nearly spits him into the wall of champions there. Using the rest of my curves, DRS wide open. Let's see what the lap time is going to be then. 14.488. Almost called it exactly the 9. 14.5. So that's pretty good, but not brilliant as I think about a second lap, but run wide in the first corner. So there's no point. Okay, so let's get back to the garage then. No sense in going out again straight away. So I'll fast forward it a little bit. I'm sure I will. There we go, fast forward it a bit. So third place, that's pretty good already. No complaints about that, but I did a 14-1 in quality two, didn't I? So I've gone fast enough for pole. So I need to get out there again in the moment when there's enough time left. I want to do pretty much be one of the last across the line, but I don't want to risk not going across the line at all. So uh, it doesn't seem to be letting me select that last set of tyres there. Perhaps that's... Perhaps that was a practice tyre or something. That's a bit frustrating. I haven't got a brand new set, but I'll have to use a set I just used since I only did one lap on them. So there we go. A little bit frustrating, but hopefully I can still get that. Because it was the second lap I got 41 on anyway, wasn't it? So fingers crossed. So again, building up the speed down this back straight. Looking for a perfect chicane to launch me into this next lap. Let's see how I get on. Try not to take too much curb. Let's have a look then. That was pretty good, I'm happy with that. Again, not perfect, but it'll do. Just 30 left in the right, here we go then. So first corner, good, happy with that. Second corner, get a nice line into there because I sacrificed first corner a little bit. Use all the track there, plus the curb. Stamp on the throttle nice and early through that chicane there. So I'm doing pretty well so far. 13 seconds left, that's this to be my last lap. Tenth lap, that's what I want to see. Eight and a half tenths up on pole. Wow, if I can keep that up, I'll be extremely happy. But I was only tenth up on my previous, so that's what I need to compare it to. They're obviously a lot faster than me in the middle sector. Okay, so let's break a little bit early that time. Again, not taking too much inside curb, but I don't want to unsettle the car anyway. That was pretty good. Again, could have been better, but not too bad. I only need another couple of tenths. I don't need to set the one on fire. Three and a half tenths up. If I can hold to this, that should be pole. Still a tenth up in pole position. That was a pretty good um, hairpin there as well. So back straight. Here we go, using up most of my curves, not quite all of it. DRS wide open, up into 6th, up into 7th, shifting through the gears, up into the rev limiter just about now. Okay, so I need a really good last corner then, or even just an average last corner. But let's see then. Oh, as I take too much speed in? Oh, hit the barrier. Oh, fortunately I keep my front wing, but took too much speed into that. Tried to do too much. Should have just backed off a little bit in there. Let's see. Oh, I marginally improved my time. I was down in 4th. I went up to 3rd. A little bit of an improvement, but... Not enough. Could have been first. Should have been first. Only third. Still happy, right? happy with that though. Let's see how I get on in the race. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.